Okay, everybody, we're rolling. Rolling a out in the live stream. Hopefully some folks are tuned in out there. Um, as it got colder and colder, our wonderful host, Worthy, Worthy Brewing, uh, became less hospitable uh, place for us to perform on that big stage over there. So um, we've decided to kind of do a live from Daryl's house kind of thing. But tonight, instead of live from Daryl's, we have live from Andrew Lyons' house on the west side of Bend, Oregon. And uh, my name is Mark Ransom. We're here with Victory Swig, and this is the Bend Roots Radio Show. And the Bend Roots Radio Hour technically is coming up at 7.30, where we'll go out on local local airwaves on KPOV uh, High Desert Community Radio. That's 88.9, if you want to tell folks to listen while they're out and about. That's where it's at. Every last Tuesday, we have a jam session, and oftentimes we have a band that is, is largely folks that I play with on a regular basis. Um, and we have an artist come in, a singer-songwriter or a, um, an instrumentalist or both, and we feature them with a band. Well, tonight we have a whole band, and I'm sitting in with them. So they're friends of mine, and so without further ado, here's Victory Swig. And I would say thanks very much to Scott Baber for doing the, the technical, the live stream, and the sound. And also, Stella Artois for Stella. sponsoring tonight.
sometimes you really do abuse me. You get me in a crowd of high class people, yeah. And you talk a real rude to me. song? Is that what we just did? Yeah. Yes, Use Me by Bill Withers. I, you know, I've been in a lot of bands that have played that song. It's a great song. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that one. I've never learned the little riff, though, so I always just try to fill in some, like, <laughs> boom chickas around it. <coughs> this is the only opportunity I ever get musically to, musically to play reggae or anyone that I feel comfortable enough with. So thank you guys for that. Yourself. 
Which is super awesome. 
It's warming up. Everybody's losing a layer. It's winter in Bend, Oregon, but not here inside right now. Victory Swig. <laughs> Tuning is important.
Dead song there for you. Thank you from the kitchen. Appreciate the kitchen. Yeah. Do you have a camera on the crowd in the kitchen? Excellent. Nice. <laughs> Thanks again uh, to Scott Baber for coming down in this uh, wintry night and uh, running the sound for us.
you. All right. Kent Howes there on the uh, vocals and drums. Couldn't do it without Kent Howes on the vocals and drums. one as well. True. Let's introduce the song. What is it? This next one's Waiting in Bane. From the west side of Bend, Oregon, to you, wherever you are in the world right now. We love you. We appreciate you very much.
searching for is the love that you're running from is the love that you're searching for Thank you to Bob Marley. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Bob Newhart. <laughs> nice song. For those of you guys just tuning in, we're live from uh, Andrew's house on the west side of Bend, Oregon. It's actually quite a nice little environment here. View from the cold winter outside.
Derek Trucks song. Thanks, right. Derek Trucks, for that one. Thank you. Nice jamming, everybody. This is the last Tuesday of the month jam brought to you by the Ben Roots organization. <laughs> KPOV coming up 7.30 to 8.30. We'll be out there live on the radio in Bend and all over the world, I guess, because you can get whatever's on the radio these days anywhere you are. Um, we're also coming to you on the YouTube, and we have a live audience here on the west side, and our friend Andy's house is hoping. Hosting Give it up for the audience. So yeah, thank you guys very much for being here. Uh, apparently, we have some pizzas. Pizzas coming on the break, is what I'm told. Possibly. Yeah. All right.
would we be right now? Just stay in the one till I start singing. A all day. Walking 
I just don't know. Thank you guys very much. That's, thank you, thank uh, you. Thank you, the Allman Brothers, for that one. Nice job on the slide guitar, dude. If you guys are just turning in, we're with Victory Swig, and uh, we're doing the Bend Roots radio show. Um, we're going to do one more song, and then take a short break, and then the second set, which is from 7.30 to 8.30, goes out on the radio on KPOV 88.9. We have a little live audience here in the kitchen, so thank you guys for coming down and yeah. supporting us, giving us a little love here yeah. in the live format. Uh, my name is Mark Ransom, and um, I'm with Victory Swig, which is a group of players that um, I get to play with every, every now and then, and a few guys here, that a couple guys anyway, that I put, got to play with a long time ago. In the second set, we're going to be playing a lot more music, and we're also going to be kind of talking about the, the history of the music scene in Bend for at least the last 30 years, because um, I think that's when I got here, and I think Kent may, maybe you've been yep, here that long. Yeah, so. 30 years ago. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, and again, big thanks to Scott Baber and KPOV for supporting the Bend Roots radio show. And uh, what, are we doing? what are we doing to close this one out? Good loving. Yeah. What did I say? Oh, I lied. What is that? Gotta have him back. He's coming back. He's coming back.
Andrew, thanks for hosting. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back in, uh, at 7.30 and going on the radio as well, KPOV. Yeah. Thanks, Scott Baber, for helping out with the sound. Thank you, thank you.
on the uh, live stream or on uh, YouTube. And also coming to you, hopefully, maybe, if we're lucky and we, they got the memo, <laughs> <laughs> on KPOV. So thanks, KPOV, and um, thanks, Andy, for hosting tonight. This is the Bend Roots Radio Hour. And uh, also thanks, Scott Baber, for having us. I'm here with Victory Swig, and we're just going to launch him with a little music. This is one my cousin, uh, Eric Ransom, and the guy who built this guitar. This is a Del Toro guitar I'm playing tonight. Um, a guy named Brian Deckabach wrote this song. It's called The Funky Jacket. And it goes like this. We could all jump in together. One, two, three, go. Or most of us. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring it way down. Platform shoes and a polyester suit Gold chains to spare When I'm disco dancing, everybody better watch on now People on the dance floor beware I got the jacket
I've got the jacket, yes, I had it for a while. I got the jacket, that funky, funky jacket. I got the jacket, it will never go out of style. Right. Thank you, guys. We've got an audience in the kitchen. This is like a, kind of like yeah. live from Daryl's house, if you've ever seen that. But this is our friend um, Andrew's house, who's playing sax tonight. And now, I'm just getting to know you. I mean, we've, we've played music a little bit over the years in different circles. But you, you kind of, I mean, I guess you say the same about me, but you, we, you talk a little bit differently than a lot of the other people. I'm just curious, where do you, where do you hail from? Can you use that to talk? Yeah, yeah, I can. I just turn off the effects. Yeah, I'm originally, uh, I'm a Melbourne boy. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, okay. So uh, that's where I grew up. But um, just, yeah, I bounced around the east coast of Australia, Sydney, Canberra, Lismore, uh, before I moved to America. And you're a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, to some extent, yeah. Okay, but that's the yeah. main one. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing that, um, yeah, I originally loved and wanted to be And that's a brand new saxophone. This this is this is a fresh arrival. It's a uh, Kurzweil um, SM uh, SX ninety R uh, Shadow, which is um, beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice, very nice. Um, and you play in some other projects in town. I think most notably, uh, notably Jess Ryan. Right. Yeah. How, how long have you been doing that? And tell tell people who are listening about Jess Ryan. Yeah, the Jess Ryan band. Um, you know, I used to go and um, just watch those guys play. I really dug the music, and um, after following them around for a while, I kind of, you know, I kind of worked my way in, you know, somehow. Um, <laughs> nice. What? And um, it was great. You know, they they had a saxophone player in the band previously, and um, I was just starting to get my chops back after a big break, you know, raising a family and stuff, and um, and yeah, it worked out. I was able to. Uh, join a band and we have um, yeah played around town a lot, made a couple of records and um, taking a little hiatus right now. Yeah, but, uh, Jess, like JessRyan.com, you can find her. She's a really fabulous, uh, pretty much all original kind of act, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've never seen her play a cover. She's yeah. pretty much purely original, and yeah. um, we write all the music, which is a really satisfying. As a band. Yeah, and as a musician, you know, I really like writing my yeah. own parts, you know, so I dig it on that level. I think the other guys do too. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks for hosting and uh, yeah, you know, no inviting us in. We're kind of we've been doing this from Worthy Brewing. For those of you just turning in, tuning in, this is the Bend Roots Radio Hour, and thanks KPOV for putting us out there. If you are in fact doing that tonight, we appreciate you guys very much. Um, end of the month, every month on the Tuesday, the last Tuesday, we have a jam session. And we also usually have at least a little live audience. And so thank you guys for joining yeah. in over there in the kitchen. Um, and our good friend Scott Baber puts out um, the digital uh, audio, converts yeah, the Scott. analog to the digital and puts it out there to the world for us. Yeah. And KPOV hopefully picks it up. Um, but anyway, um, let's do another song. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Okay. This is uh, original by Kent House. Yep. Correct. And Kent's on the drums for those of you that might not be seeing him.
honor with a lack of sea. Perfect book for you and me. Who is what you wanna be? Life is cheap, but it ain't free. Always honor with a lack of sea. what that means or do we know it know. it means all of those things okay <laughs> okay so you're keeping the mystery alive bear you got a song for us i do what do you got it's an original called brown chicken brown cow this started out as an instrumental years back and someone um inspired me to write lyrics to it about all of the fun critters in Central Oregon that like to get down and take a trip to Funky Town. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Barrett Dash. <coughs> the drummer's ready. He was born ready. <laughs> Side of town. Everett's 
can get on down. Slave. 
kitchen that was thank actually you, thank you really fun to play great song great great jam there dude oh the drummer Correction, broke the drums oh no now we've done it no it's fine Get. it's just falling apart awesome those of you just joining in theoretically we're on the radio right now yeah scott baber's giving us the thumbs up so that means we want to really give a big shout out and the thanks to uh kpov <laughs> That's right. Oh, there they are. There's our live studio audience. Um, some of you may have tuned in before for what this is, which is the what we call the Bend Roots Radio Hour. It is a oh, an hour long uh, local jam with local musicians, and um, it's recent. You know, for the last year or so, it's been hosted at Worthy Brewing. So we want to give Worthy Brewing a shout out for sustaining us and helping us do this, just like KPOV, so thank you. <laughs> Worthy Brewing, the cast and crew, Roger Worthington, great supporters of the arts over there, um, and getting ready to do a whole lot more, I'm told, so I'm sure he'll be unveiling some cool new news about uh, more arts that Worthy's involved with. Um, but yeah, I've known these guys um, in this particular outfit. Um, we're here with Victory Swig, jamming this month with Victory Swig, and um, I've, we've introduced Andrew, and I've um, kind of introduced Kent in that he's been uh, sitting at the drums there and the author of a couple of these tunes that we've been playing. Um, and I know, I've known Kent and um, this guy of right over here, Barrett Dash, for 
Well, how long ago was that band we were in? 32 years? No, 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 no. No, no. no it can no, only no. be like 27 or okay. 28 years I ago. Mean, I mean, I know we partied hard. I'm 20, 32 years. I've been in band. Music. In band, in band, but that, that band so outside dog. 20, 25 years? 25 years. I'm going to say that. Quarter Nine, century. 90, there you go. 97? Yes. So I, I don't know how I got in that, but it was a really fun outfit. We did a lot of weddings and stuff. And in the band was uh, this bass player right here, Barrett Dash, and Kent House on the drums. We also had another drummer, uh, Tom Keeley. And Tom played with you guys for a long time after that. Uh, and then, of course, from Brotherhood of Rhythm, those of you going way, 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 way back, uh, there was a great band called Brotherhood of Rhythm, and Corey Cunningham um, was in that band, and he was the other guitar player in that outfit. I miss anybody? Uh, occasionally we had Tim. Tim was in there, and anybody else? No, that was, that was pretty much the lineup. Yeah. I, mi I miss Corey a lot. Corey is back in uh, North Carolina. Probably playing some great music. Playing music and, and, and is a fishing guide out there. So, that yeah, living the good life. does not surprise me at all. Um, what's your earliest, uh, what, give me some memories of early days in Ben before Outside Dog Camp, did, were you in any musical outfits at that time? No, that might have been the first band, although was Rhythm Beans was not too far after that. Oh, those are some good names. <laughs> awesome, the Rhythm Beans. And you, you how, when did you arrive here? In 90, 92? 92, July of 92. Right on, and yeah. um, you came from? Uh, a five-year minimum sentence in, uh, Portland with the rain. And then before that. Till I escaped. <laughs> and then before that, where were you? Where were you before Portland? Uh, Midwest, uh, Minneapolis boy. Oh, okay, okay. So you probably had some musical uh, experiences back there. Did you ever play with Prince? Uh, we, well, we actually, a project band that I was in. Oh, boy. Got to warm, do the warm up act for Prince once as the prize for whatever it was, best band standing or something. but. I never... Uh, you never jam with a man? No. I saw him play with a shitload of times. Now tell me why this is. You're not allowed to say that on the radio. Oh. And that was really bad. <laughs> and we want to apologize. Hopefully you believe that. And we won't draw any more attention many to it. Times. it, is a many, it, it is many times. It is a reminder that we won't do that again. It's a song. I think that's probably the best segue oh, we could have. Him. How about that? <laughs> something, something all ages we just friendly. Got, we just got lifted from the air. You got another one for us? Yeah. Oh, you do? Single track. I actually, uh, I was staying with musician friends. This is like nine or ten, ten years ago. And I'd had this idea for a song in my brain for a long time, so much so that I was mad at myself because I couldn't just write it. So uh, on my way home... I decided to put a pad and pencil in the front of the truck and between the border of Minnesota and the border of Wyoming, which is all of North Dakota, yeah. I had uh, three verses, chorus, and a bridge for this song. Yeah, something about yeah. moving that gets, you, yeah. gets the lyrics going sometimes. Yeah. And you probably like But I don't recommend to the, the North Dakota Patrol is listening that I... One time I remember... I did pay attention some of the time to one the One time I remember it was a Halloween gig. You were dressed up like the Pope. <laughs> that was good. That was like 90, 98. One of the first Pope appearances. Okay, ready? Oh. Pope from Minnesota.
the path that I see The one I'm hoping to find Answers questions so deep It may bring me peace of mind Oh, I'm Thank you. Thank you. 
kindly. So uh, what, what, is, what is that song about exactly? I mean, I know you can, you can dance to it, so it's, it's all that really matters probably. Uh, it's a but, lot about but, and, and me feeling to, more at home in the woods. It, me feeling a lot more at home in the woods ah. than out in civilization. I, I don't like know. Single track. Like, is he, are you, oh, you're a cyclist. I get it now. Okay. I've lived in Bend long enough to know something. Right on. Cool. So uh, what's next on our list there? How about some more music? Wow. Say it looks on the list to me like the next song is a Bob Marley song. We're coming to you live from Andrew's living room on the west side of Bend. Thanks, KPOV, for putting us out on the air. This is... The Bend Roots Radio Hour, which happens at the end of every month on a Tuesday. And I'm here with Victory Swig. And uh, we're going to do some, uh, some reggae. That's what I'm told. This is uh, actually, I've been waiting since this album came out probably to do a song by Bob. And this is the first song I've ever done. So, finally. <laughs> right on. Rick Shane? Oh. Yeah. This 
So one thing I've noticed about this band, thank you very much, is that you guys love uh, the reggae sure. music. Sure. <laughs> please do, do tell. It's always been in the fold, I mean. The reggae music brings the positive vibrations. There's a lot of good lyrics, there's a lot of good energy, and a lot of good memories for people that have seen reggae music or grown up with it. Um, I first heard Bob Marley when I was about six or seven, and I thought, that's, that's some pretty cool stuff. Here, here, brother, man. I think I'm g gonna preach it to the choir. There's some folks in here. How about you, Karen? Yeah. When did you get turned on to Bob Marley? Uh, I was working in a band with another guy named Kent. Kent Johnson, great guy. And he one day he said, "Oh yeah, you gotta get into Marley. You gotta get into Marley." And I, I said, "I don't know. I haven't heard anything by Marley." So he just brought the first and the second album and just gave them. He said, "Just take those home and start listening to them." And I'm very thankful for that for all these years. Yeah, any, anybody else got a Bob Marley story? I got, I got one. I, I never was really, I could never, I don't know. I mean, the way you phrased it, Barrett, is so great because it just transcends all of the, uh, the things that might get in people's heads and it also creates an opportunity for coming together instead of being divided. Um, but I remember not understanding the music much the way when I was younger I didn't understand the music of the Grateful Dead or Almond Brothers or something. I was just like, when I was young, I was like, what is that? But my friend Michael Shook, oh my word, he was in deep, like from when we were little kids, like his room was the attic and it was just wall to wall, Marley, everything. I was like, wow, this is powerful. I, I better start listening to this stuff. How about you? You got a Marley story? Me? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, you know, like Barrett was Shane saying, Osborne, you're, you're, you're not gonna go to a, a concert and see somebody thrown out of the concert because they're beating somebody up because everybody's having a good time, you know? That's right. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone's dancing. <laughs> I don't see musicians getting in big fights while they're jamming. 
Ah. Yeah, and we've, we've been super blessed to have some great reggae acts come through Bend the last few years. Um, Ziggy Marley uh, really, really threw down a couple months ago, and you know, there's been a ton more. So it's really, it's really great, and it's always fun to um, to get people dancing and have the positive energy going. And um, like you said, Mark, it transcends all the stuff, and and it brings people together. And that's that's really what Victory Swig is all about is bringing people together and having a good time. On that note, there's a tradition that you guys do, right? Let's, let's raise whatever you got for are a toast. Are they seeing this on the radio? Yeah, they're seeing this on the radio. Cheers, guys. <laughs> we're, Cheers we're drinking beer right now. <laughs> and, well, and bubble water, the drink of choice for musicians over 50. <laughs> and with that, how about an Allman Brothers tune? <laughs> yeah, moving right along. Oh, I think we got time for two. Okay, sounds good. Perfect. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Spoiler. Okay. Everybody ready? Key, give me a key. Key of drum. Drum, drum key. Okay. Thank you. 
They say Papa was a jack of all trades That would have led him to an early grave They say Papa used to beg, bow, and steal To pay his bill Papa was never too much on thinking Spent all of his time chasing women and drinking Look up at me and she said, Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he made his hat was his home. And when he died, oh, he left us both alone. Papa was a rolling stone. Hey, yeah, yeah. Wherever he made his hat was his home. And when he Thank you. <laughs> Minneapolis. Something about people from Minneapolis. They do stuff like that. I want to thank uh, the person I didn't get to who I really want to talk to is our mentor, uh, Andy Armour here, joining us on the keys. Such a treat to get to play music with you, sir. And also have breakfast sometimes. Yeah. And discuss philosophy and the arts, things like that. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Um, let's go out on a song. What do you guys want to do? Okay, you got to switch up that guitar. All right, one more time. We're going to take you out uh, with a little Allman Brothers song. And um, thank you very much. Thanks, Scott Baber, for running the sound, doing the live stream. Thanks, KPOV, for putting us out on the radio. Um, thanks Worthy Brewing for uh, getting us going and keep helping us go keep going. Doing the Bend Roots Radio Hour. We'll be doing something again the end of next month on a Tuesday, the last Tuesday of the month. I don't know the date. But thank you, Victory Swig, and thank you, Andrew, for hosting tonight. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for thank the, the audience in the kitchen. You guys have been awesome all night. Appreciate it.
that is on the way Cause I'm down bound
sometimes call the blue. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, and good night. Thanks, Scott Baber. Cheers. Happy holidays. You guys were out.